purpose of a good roof system is to keep the roof deck dry. If the deck gets wet, it can cause blistering in the overlying roofing. It can also cause problems inside the house, like wet insulation or stains on the walls and ceilings. The moisture can also cause degradation of the deck itself, like delamination or rot. You should always start with a dry deck. If there is moisture present, wait for it to dry before putting down the underlayment or starting the installation. Since roof leaks typically occur at vulnerable areas, such as in the valleys and around penetrations like chimneys, plumbing vents, and skylights, these critical areas require the extra protection that WeatherWatch or StormGuard leak barriers can provide. WeatherWatch has a granule surface, while StormGuard has a film surface. It's your choice. They both do the same important job. Now, let's take a look at how to install leak barrier. As an example of leak barrier applications, we'll discuss the WeatherWatch installation. Before you install WeatherWatch, make sure the roof surface is clean. For greater safety and on-roof handling, cut it into manageable lengths of 10 to 20 feet. Then, position one end of the roll at the rake edge where you plan to begin and align the edge of the roll with the eave. The weather watch will be installed over the edge metal along the eave. Begin by peeling off the split release film on the back. Unroll weather watch and remove the film while keeping the edge aligned with the eave as you go. Since WeatherWatch has a time and heat activated adhesive, it may be repositioned before the adhesive bonds firmly to the roof. You can also install WeatherWatch or StormGuard underneath the drip edge and over the fascia. This is a way to protect from extreme ice damming problems as it covers the seam of the fascia and the deck. If using this method, make certain that all of the weather watch or storm guard is covered by the drip edge because these materials are not designed to be permanently exposed to sunlight. When installing it in places where you will use flashing, first position weather watch so that it sufficiently covers both the deck and the vertical surface. Then install the flashing over the weather watch or storm guard. In addition to eaves in the north, Weather watch can also be used along the rakes, in valleys, and on any other place where added protection from wind-driven rain and ice is needed. Some contractors choose not to install leak barriers at critical areas, but GAF factory certified contractors have been trained to use them as a secondary flashing for extra protection in critical leak areas. When installing the Golden Pledge or Systems Plus limited warranties, GAF factory certified contractors use weather watch or storm guard leak barriers at all valleys, dormers, skylights, chimneys, vertical walls, and plumbing vents. For more information and instructions on how to install weather watch or storm guard leak barriers, visit GAF.com.